what up YouTube we are gonna do a ride along today today I want to focus on toys and video games I've had my Macca's breakfast so let's do it this one actually looks pretty huge So this op shop wasn't too bad. Uh, look, just like all these other op shops, you've got the shitty paintings and you've got all these uh, bits and pieces of crap that they're trying to sell for a couple of bucks. I usually always bypass this uh, area because I, I don't want to buy this shit. This stuff here, sports stuff and all that, it's all just crap crap. We want new stuff that is sealed, but you see all this little crap, um, arts and crafts stuff and glassware, people buy it and that's what op shops are all for. But for me, I go for the uh, sealed things. So, but we always uh, have a little walk past and have a little look. But in this case, um, yeah, this area in this shop was uh, pretty shit. Um, there, was a, <laughs> there was a couple of uh, funny things I saw, but uh, just a waste of time and uh, just a waste, it's just junk, just absolute junk. Uh, puzzles, always have a look at puzzles because uh, if you grab uh, ones that are sealed, Make sure you look them up though before you go because you can get a good 30 bucks for uh, a good uh, $2 puzzle or $5 puzzle. Old ball games from the 80s are good, but um, that's what I always have a look for. But in this case, um, I look for sealed ones here. I found Scattergrees uh, sealed brand new. Um, I did pull my phone out and uh, have a look at the price, um, which I'll go uh, uh, through with you in a second, uh, the price that I got, but I always have a quick little look uh, through to see if there's any 80s uh, games there that we can uh, flog off but unfortunately there wasn't and none that was worth grabbing anyway but Scattergrees um, in there was some shitty card games don't grab them if you want to make two dollars the Scattergrees was definitely worth uh, grabbing um, as you see on the uh, phone there definitely worth grabbing uh, books I stay away from books all the time I'll have a look at kids books definitely have a look at kids books um, I've sold some before for $50 and $40 that I've found for 50 cents, old He-Man ones and all that. And CDs I kind of stay away from as well, boring and, uh, you know, cost a lot, a uh, couple of bucks and not worth it. The DVDs as well, DVDs, not worth it for $2 and $3 each when people only buy them for $6 um, and they just don't want to pay postage, it's just not, it's just not worth it at all. Uh, but that's my opinion with DVDs and CDs and uh, books, unless you know what you're doing with books. It was an okay store. I know I walked past the books and I said I, uh, I don't do books, but I thought I always have a look at the kids' books because uh, kids' books, I found some pearlers like that He-Man book that time for 50 cents and I got $40 for it, stuff like that. I know I, I grabbed a couple of Star Wars ones for 50 cents each for myself to read, but, and a book about the dogs, because the dog's uh, digging up my lawn. But anyway, I only got two things uh, for resale. So the Scattergrees, which you saw when I was there, I can get up to $30, $40 for this, and I paid four bucks. That's brand new sealed, so happy with that. But then what I didn't film, because we went past the um, book section, found this CC's uh, Puzzle Presents uh, Simpsons thing. This was two bucks, and it's got all 3D pictures of uh, Simpsons cards, so they've collected them all. I had a look and that goes for between uh, 30 and $40 as well. So that was uh, $6 I spent there on uh, resale, $6 I can turn into $80 so far. Uh, we'll, 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 talk, we'll say this is under toys and kids stuff because I said I want to focus on games and uh, uh, video games and toys today so uh, so far we're going to turn a potential well six dollars into a potential 80 bucks let's go to the next op shop this one looks like a pretty decent looks okay size uh, salvos so uh, give this one a crap never been this one before. so this one just like the others it's all your you know You've got so much crap of clothes and 
the overpriced clothes and overpriced you got plates and you got fucking all that shit. Um, I did see a AFL plush doll, uh, a Hawthorne uh, Cyril Rioli uh, one from Hawthorne. I looked that up. That was worth nothing. Uh, plush toys are sometimes worth money, uh, but uh, I had a look at a few of them, but nothing worth anything there. Had a look through the games again. Unfortunately, uh, the games were overpriced here, and uh, definitely not worth it. And uh, most of them were open, and the kids' DVDs uh, were pretty crap as well. Um, unfortunately, uh, the books as well. I you know, basically bypass the books and go straight past them. Uh, skim them with my eyes, of course, see if there's anything that catches out. Uh, there was no good kids ones. And the DVDs here were way, way overpriced. Um, even the Blu-rays, they wanted $4 each for them, which is just absolutely highway robbery. I don't like walking out of an op shop empty-handed, but I came out empty-handed and I'm not happy. Uh, so that's fucked. So we'll go to the next one, we'll um, have a look. I'm searching op shops in the area near me and let's try and find another one. Alright, see what happens when you don't go looking for videos, I end up fucking... Ooh, a couple around the corner, here we go. Alright, let's go to those. I do need to add that last fucking op shop was a ripoff. The prices were just stupid. Fucking everything. Uh, I don't get it. It's an op shop and shit got donated to you. Put it fucking cheap so we can make money. All right, let's go to the next one. I think it's just around the corner. All right, unusual. Uh, I've never heard of this one before. This is called uh, Op Shop Book Bazaar. We've also got a good standing over there. Check this one out. That last one was crap, so we're going to do good semis now. This op shop wasn't too bad. Um, it had a fair decent amount of toys and all that, but uh, not enough toys that uh, were worth selling. Uh, the games area was pretty shit as well, so unfortunately this big op shop was another flop. Oh, disappointing. That one was big, but it didn't have much stuff in it except for clothes. Got one more here. Let's go to this Vinnie's. Vinnie's aren't... Actually, you know what? I don't think I've ever had any luck from any Vinnie's, so let's have a look at the Vinnie's. Unfortunately, Vinnie's are always the same. Uh, you basically find fuck all in uh, Vinnie's. You got all, always, always these, our Australian op shops is just fucking plates and uh, all this type of shit, photo frames that no one wants and they still put a fair few bucks on there, uh, you know, just give it away cheap. This one did have furniture, not into furniture at the moment, uh, don't need any, and the pictures on the wall. They had a decent amount of DVDs there, but uh, none worth grabbing, no horrors and the uh, games. The games were okay, but nothing worth uh, buying. And same with the toys, nothing worth buying. Wasn't a bad Vinnie's, but all overpriced as well. Okay, so those last three op shops were dog shit. Uh, no good, nothing in them but books. Look, I only got the two items from the first two stores. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Look, I spent $6 for a potential between $40 to $80. A potential between $40 to $80. I'll definitely make $40. Uh, but if they go for what the top selling uh, ones that have sold um, go, I'll, I'll get $80. Bucks. So, happy with that. But this has just kind of reminded me that op shops suck in Australia. They really do. Uh, the best way to get your uh, inventory, um, games for sale, videos, DVDs, anything like that, a little bit cheaper with these op shops, uh, just uh, putting the prices up a little bit too much, which I find. Uh, but um, yeah, the best uh, way I personally think now is, um, and which I've found over the past, is uh, local local sellers on your Facebook market, uh, local sellers on your Gumtree app. If you're in America, I guess it's your Craigslist. And um, and yeah, the, the swap meet markets, swap meets on uh, Sunday mornings. It's 
not always easy to get up uh, when you're hungover to get there for six o'clock in the morning, but um, your swap meets are your, your, best, your best options because people want to get rid of their junk and they get rid of their junk for absolutely nothing. Um, and your gum tree, people sell it in bulk and if there's a few bits and pieces in there that you don't want, um, it's not a big deal because you've got a few of the things that you want that are going to make money. Uh, so that's that's my opinion anyway, but I'm not going to give it a dog shit day, I'm not going to give it uh, a holy grail day, it was just okay. I was up in the area anyway, now I've got an hour drive home. Uh, I was up there anyway, and I went to a few op shops. So, uh, look, like, subscribe, don't like, thumbs up, thumbs down, do what the fuck you want, I can't tell you what to do, but uh, hey, if you do keep watching my videos and they keep popping up on your uh, screen, you might as well subscribe, fucking subscribe, hey, I fucking, I've got to try and get more than 60 subscribers, I know I'm not a, a million subscriber uh, uh, vlogger and videoer, but uh, there's a few people that keep coming back and watching my content, so uh, share it around and um, if you like what I do, and yeah, cool. All right, I'll uh, be back uh, next episode. If you haven't seen all the other episodes, I'll put a thing at the end there so you can uh, have a little watch of uh, some of my older vi uh, older videos where I get videos. Uh, what my main uh, that's my main calling card is videos. My videos today, and um, yeah, sweet as guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you.